In this video, we're gonna be fixing a known failure point for most BMW engines. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F33. Now if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now BMW really likes making critical engine components out of plastic. I have no idea why they do this, but some examples of things they like to make out of plastic are the charge pipe, the coolant flange, and the bleeder screw. Now I've already replaced the charge pipe and the coolant flange. So today we're gonna to be replacing the bleeder screw. Now there's plenty of stories of how this bleeder screw cracks, strips, or just starts spraying coolant everywhere. Now this issue isn't just with the N55 engine. This has been an issue for a really long time. Now this is a really easy fix and should only take you a couple of minutes to swap out. Now the bleeder screw I decided to go with is from HPS and is machined out of titanium. It also comes with an upgraded O-ring, which is more chemical resistant than the stock rubber one. It also uses a four millimeter Allen instead of a flathead screwdriver to loosen and tighten it. I also think it looks pretty awesome. All right, so let's head out to the car and get this upgraded bleeder screw installed. The tools needed for this install is a flathead screwdriver, a four millimeter Allen, and some towels. The difficulty for this install is easy. The first thing you'll need to do is open the hood. Now, because this system is pressurized, I like to open the coolant fill cap before the bleeder screw. This should stop coolant from spraying everywhere when you remove the bleeder screw. Now take some towels and put it around the area just in case and take your flathead screwdriver and remove the stock bleeder screw. Make sure also to remove the old O-ring as well. Now take your new bleeder screw and wet the O-ring with a little coolant before threading it into the coolant reservoir. Now take your four millimeter Allen and begin threading it in. Take your time, you don't wanna cross thread it and you also don't wanna over tighten it getting plastic shavings in your coolant. You just wanna get it nice and snug. Now that the new bleeder screw is installed, you can tighten up the coolant fill cap. The last thing to do is to bleed the system. Now, thankfully, BMW has made this really easy for us. If you have a battery maintainer, you should hook it up before starting the bleeding procedure, as it does take a bit of power to do. Now I've been using the NOCO battery maintainer for a while now, and I highly recommend it. I've got a video that I'll link down below that shows how I installed the connection point under the hood. Turn on the vehicle so that it's in accessory mode and turn off your lights and radio so that you have as much power as possible. Next, turn the heat on as high as it can go and the fan speed on its lowest setting. Next, hold the accelerator down until the water pump turns on. Now this should take about 10 seconds and the water pump will start making gurgling noises as it starts to bleed the system. Now this should take about 10 minutes or so to complete and once it's done, the system will turn off automatically. Now, as you saw, installing the upgraded coolant bleeder screw is really easy and should only take you a couple of minutes to install. Now, this is one of those changes that will not only save you headaches down the line, but will also look really great in the engine bay. Now, as always, I have put links in the description below to all the products and tools needed for this install. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. You got this.